Oh man, the others want to do this. I tell you, you got a it's... better chance of sweeping the roads than you have sweeping a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Look you, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little bit out of our comfort zone there, but Pete and I tried to uh, rekindle the sound of the 80s. 80s rock. <laughs> um, i got to be honest this with you. cool, man. The Fender Japan, it's a kind of a weird thing. Fender Japan, a lot of the time, just do their own thing. They've got their own audience over there and their own kind of market, and they do a lot of cool stuff. They do. That actually the rest of the world doesn't often get to see. Correct. And one of the upsides of this year's kind of coronavirus, well, it's a bit bad saying an upside of it because there aren't many, has been that with uh, production capacity in America and the traditional places that Fender would make guitars for the rest of the world being reduced, they've kind of looked to Japan to go, have you got any other... Have you got stuff, stuff lying that around? we could sell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so and, and actually, we've had two or three things from Japan come through this year that have been cool, but this might be the coolest one of the it's lot so cool. far. It's pretty cool. Uh, so it's definitely taken a vibe <clears throat> from, some of you might have seen an Aerodyne uh, range of guitars in the past Keep from on. Fender. Mm -hmm. This is not called Aerodyne, this is hybrid, but it's definitely got that Aerodyne flavor. So what was it, Eldine? Was there telecaster shape? Yeah, there was, there was telly bases, the tellies, and they all had this very slightly arched top with the kind, it was a more contemporary looking guitar. It's thinner. Yeah. The whole thing is thinner. So, so what have we got here? We've got strat shaped guitars, but with different contours on the top. So yeah. we don't have that lovely rounded edge that you'd get on a traditional strat. You've got this sort of beveled top with a more angular edge. We've got the belly oh. cup, which is normal, but we've got, again, the more contemporary heel joint. Binding. Um, super cool binding. Yeah, very cool. Co um, compound radius uh, necks, again, back and front. So the, the, you've got like a C vibe down here and a, yep. more of a D vibe up here. Got locking tuners. Nice rolled edges. Uh, Rosewood Satin finish board. Neck. Yeah. Rosewood board, yeah. And then we've got yeah, this, this kind of bit... two humbuckers. Very simple. I was When I first picked this up, I was going, surely this will be a five-way blade or there'll be a coil tap or something. But no. But just straightforward. No, sir. Three way. That's it. You got um, a volume and two tones. You've it's got okay. a trim system straight yeah, off an American, um, you know, pro series or elite series yep. strat. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And I really, really, really like it. Yeah. Humbucking. In three great colours. Yeah, the white one is cool. I think uh, the blue is my fave. And not like crazy money. So like eleven $1 hundred. Yeah, pounds. Ten nine, ten I was nine, going to say quid, but that yeah. always confuses uh, people outside of, of the UK. So 1,100 pounds, quid, whatever. No idea how available these are, you know, outside of Japan, I guess. I mean, we, I think we've got literally like a one-off run for Europe. Don't yeah. know if America have done the same. But they're really cool. They, nice. remind me of, they remind me of uh, a guy that's got the same name as me that plays a guitar that looks a bit like it. If you know what I'm saying? Oh, that Pete. Yeah. No, you're right. It's it's. I mean, we might as well say it. Like, if you look at Pete Thorne's signature, sir. Yeah, it's very similar. And then similar, you kind of it? like covered up up here and made it made this red. You know, it's it's not dissimilar it's not, looking, is no, it? No, it's not. I mean, he might argue it is, and uh, but but hey, hey. I think he's got some uh, he's got some split chords. This one does yeah. not have any of that stuff. But they're not. Let's have they're some just, tones, man. They're just Fender pickups. Yeah. Um, but Fender Japan pickups. So again, it's you know they sound great. So here we go on the neck humbucker. <laughs> We've been playing P90 loaded guitars just before these, and again, big, big difference in the way a humbucker sounds. Much darker, yeah. much fatter, more powerful. Really oh, like the trim system. You, Lee loves the floating trim. That's no pedals, straight into the amplifier, no Lovely. compressor, no nothing. Both pickups together. Instantly you hear the brightness. Two days um, gone. Yeah, <laughs> back pick up. <laughs> and just for fairness sake, Pete's gonna do the same thing, but with some overdrive. Yeah, just some overdrive. Uh... Uh, 
So here's the middle position. What are these guitars, man? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I like it, but I'm slightly. It's, you know what it is? It's because it's it's Fender does a little bit of Ibanez, a little bit of Sur, kind of goes after that maybe slightly more modern contemporary player. It's definitely a usable classic rock tool. Oh, absolutely. But, but it's probably more gonna be it's, it's probably gonna get the most out of it in the hands of a more technical player oh thanks like a no <laughs> I, knew, I knew that was coming yeah, yeah somebody somebody who plays with a martin miller or, or exactly or that, like those, tom quail yeah, kind of thing uh, it's that, any of those slightly more technical guys yeah it's got the jumbo frets on here so that kind of mm. it's that kind of thing and then i think it wants more gain you know what, what i mean it's better on the bass pickup. If you Let's finish just... your demo, yeah. It's definitely the... want that kind of pick. That kind of... <laughs> the, the solo that I did in the first one, it's the first time I had literally all my drive pedals on together. <laughs> Say that's you. We, you need like a, a gainy amp for that. I think it possibly is. It's, you know, it's, um, I so think this is a bit more. This is a bit more like it. It's funny, isn't it? Because the, the pickups in this almost guitar, seem to want tons and tons of gain stacked in front of them whereas a lot of the time i think you know we're used to probably playing guitars where we listen back to the recording and you go i've got too much gain on there yeah, it doesn't sound that great actually that's whereas, a dangerous thing too much gain whereas on I, I kind of well we'll find out when we hear this yeah. back but this what a lovely guitar feels like really feels great, really like it? this yeah. i mean it kind of makes me want to perhaps learn some more contemporary sort of new stuff like stuff that was written after like 1983 or something <laughs> No, no, you know what? You know what? Because I'm, I'm hoping to get a Kraken uh, amp, and I you need, a, and, and I, I need to, to I want to try to learn some of the chucking yeah, and, yeah. and some of that more contemporary. This might be a good guitar for that. It's, I really like this. So check out the links anyway, below. It's, yeah. it's called something like the Fender Made in Japan Hybrid Strat. So not Aerodyne. In fairness, if you like this and maybe you can't afford one of these or you're just not in the right place at the moment to buy a guitar and you're looking for something used, have a look and see what you can see on eBay on the old Fender Aerodyne stuff. Cause they were, that they were definitely, this is where this is born of. I can't believe you've stolen the silver strap. I was looking at the next two guitars we had the demo going, I hope he picks up the telly, but hey, it's fine. <laughs>
Well, yeah, right. I got this one, didn't I, Lee? Sorry about that. Well, apologies, everybody. As you probably saw, annotated every time I said the word hybrid oh, yeah. throughout that first bit. <laughs> These, of course, aren't hybrid at all. These are the moderns. Yeah, uh, modern made in H Japan H modern HHs. Uh, and these are the hybrids. Yeah. These I'll are the be hybrids. totally honest with you. I'm not exactly sure what's hybrid about this. Um, no. There's, I mean, it's obviously a, uh, a 70s uh, telecustom vibe. So we've got the wide range humbucker here, traditional uh, tele bridge with the single coil here. All the knobs and switches are in the right place. I don't really know what makes it hybrid to sort of modern. It's a, it's a roasted maple neck. But maybe that's it is not a something slight... Fender does a lot of, is it? No, maybe. I mean, it's got pretty jumbo frets. It's definitely a sort of a, a modern-y sort of vibe feeling neck. Um, that's supposed to be a U-shaped neck. It's supposed to be U-shaped, yeah, is this, it? This is U-shaped as well. It's slightly it just thicker. just kind of goes to show, doesn't it? U-shape, D-shape. U-shape, I-shape, me-shape, <laughs> ice cream, D-shape, <laughs> F-shape. I mean, the D-shape. At the end of the day, you either like it or you don't. Um, it does appear to have these vintage locking tuners on them which uh, freak me out because they look totally vintage from the, the back and they kind of look pretty vintage from the front until you realize there's a, a little kind of slot on the top that you can presumably adjust with a, a slot on the top a <laughs> screwdriver or a, or, a, or a plectrum or something um it's a matte finish it's only available in this one beautiful color is it indigo 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 go. Uh, indigo go. Uh, indigo. Um, <laughs> indigo. Indigo. Can I come into the club? Indigo. Uh, so. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I mean, uh, there's nothing much. This is one of those weird ones where I'm just going to go, I don't know what it's trying to be different to a regular 70s custom, but I really like it. So, yes, hey, is it, I, I don't know. It's, it's exactly the same as we were explaining before it's just something the japanese have done uh would have traditionally been for their domestic market yeah a few have escaped um and um it's a nice, they're I, nice I, guitars, I, yeah i don't think know. there's necessarily anything about this to it's, go oh wow it's just like it's just like look if you like the if you like the color and you like the fact that it's got the roasted maple neck and you like the sounds that are coming out of it it's yeah, good it's a, it look, i really like the way it looks i think it looks super cool and i like the satin finish yeah. on there it's that 1200 quid so it's, it's a hundred pounds money. more than these yeah. and gig bag is it a lot of money it's just japanese money isn't it in fact if anything it's it's not expensive for japanese if you look at what um you know, if you look at perhaps some of the Ibanez guitars that come out of Japan, or yeah. you, you know, they're, they're, they're they have 16 hitting yeah, upwards, nearly two exactly. grand upwards, aren't they? Anyway, anyway, anyway uh, that, that is, is a tasty burger. I think I had one of these once, but in gold. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. With the uh, heavy flake in it. Yeah, like heavy that. flake, yeah. The, the lacquer is very thick, you can see, because it's, mm. it, it's, a, it's a poly lacquer, so it looks quite thick through that, there. That was when Pete and I went to um, GNL. We asked GNL in the custom shop to make some guitars like that, and we said, "Can you nitro finish them?" And they said, "It's just not possible." When the you should see these being made, it's super cool. They but, like they they put like a, a a sticky substance on the guitar, and then they just pick up handfuls of of glitter, basically like big chunks of glitter, like, and they uh, just they just yeah. basically and then they go. Up yeah. and, and do it again. But I think the, anyway. the GNL ones were f f more flaky. This is sort of in between, is it? This is in between. It's slightly smaller, yeah. but not like the ones Does that we've got. It looks wicked. So really, this really one cool. is an older body. It's got a rosewood uh, board here with a maple neck on it with locking tuners, uh, two point trim system. But you've got the torn. vintage saddles on your, so it's not vintage. like these where they've got the modern saddles. But, you've got the vintage saddles on but a two point trim. But vintage saddle on a two point trim. So it is, that's kind of mm. hybrid enough, well, that's isn't it? What that is what American Pro does. Yeah. Fender American Pro is vintage saddles on a, on a two-point trim, I'm sure. Vintage saddle on a two-point trim. It sounds <laughs> like a rap, rap song. Yeah, so it does. Uh, it's a short bug in the back and two USA-made Fender pickups. In, the, in, the, in these two here. That's wicked. Five-way that selector. Ingwe Malmsteen-tastic. Or someone, maybe not Ingwe, I don't know. It's somebody playing... You have who, to have who, a smile that goes with it, bit, haven't you? You've got to be a bit good. And you've got to want to come up and tear the face off of the front row with your lead guitar solo. <laughs> or just stand in the background in a band with a little bow tie. <laughs> yeah, or yeah, in, be like in Las Nile Vegas. Be the, yeah. Just like, you know, playing like some little funky chords on your massively sparkly guitar. It needs a mirrored scratch plate. Oh, yeah. It needs a mirrored scratch plate. It's, or weird, with the, it's weird with these are off white, and then this is white. This is, you know what I mean? It's all very yeah. hybrid. Uh, so, so let's uh, get some tones. Shall I start? Okay, so I'm just going to quickly say the neck is a U shape. It's not as rolled as I, this you would like. This is super rolled. 
This, this is, is not. This is. This, this is, is rolled got like a toilet roll. It's got the square. Which you can't buy. How do you hang the, the toilet roll? That way or that way? Always with the paper coming down the front. Yeah. Always. That, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Who doesn't? Do My that? mum does the other she way around. She goes paper down the back. Yeah. She does. Yeah. <laughs> It's a generational thing. It they must were weird be. back then. Yeah, they were weird. Right. Okay, so here's a few tones. Here's the neck pickup. You almost thought I was going to play. So Is that no pedals? That's sound pedals. Uh, right. There's just a strat, man. There's good strat tone. Isn't that literally the ultimate wedding band strap? <laughs> That's what up, I'm saying. You turn That's up in your tuxedo yeah. or your suit, or whatever. You stand at the back and you just and you play basically and it's up all here. the it has classics to be up here. like that. But it's just wicked looking. Congratulations! All the come, yeah. yeah, they're out there dancing around, clapping on one and three. Uh, anyway, is the middle position to uh, the the pickup that people use the least, but are really apparently not. Is it? That's oh, nice. So, good. so now we're back uh, on the, these two together. So this is the shore bugger. It was almost. <laughs> is that, there's no pushy no, pulley no, or anything no, like that. No, so no, no, it's just, no, no, it, no. Is that what, still humbucker in position two? Um, it almost sounds like it splits it there, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it might. And here is the bridge pickup on its own. It definitely oh, splits yes. it. It definitely splits it, doesn't it? I think that needs That's a bit of a drive. That's one of the best times that you've had with no pedals. Let's try some game. It's a good, it's a good bit of rose. It's a lovely bit of rose with this, isn't it? That's a Dane. It definitely splits it. What the, the neck is definitely not rolled. It's quite a fat neck and fat up here. So it's, it's I don't know what I can. It's but not you a like, normal. You, you think I'm? Um, you you think I always make you, too big a fuss? Too of the much rolled. of a rolled one. Yes, but that's you, because we play all the guitars now <coughs> that come out. They're all rolled. So you just get used to that thing. Uh, this is they're definitely not rolled, but. Oh. Do, you, do you think that tiny little bit of wood that's left by not rolling it's just adding something to the sustain? Absolutely. <laughs> it, actually, they are rolled slightly, but it just feels like a chunky <laughs> neck. Uh, let's just try the neck pickup. <laughs> that's the Dane with the boost. <laughs> If you'd have had a rolled fretboard, you wouldn't have played that wrong. No. I wouldn't have played that wrong, no. Played yeah. That's these two together. Rolled off a bit. I 
like it. Do you, do you remember what Jimmy Page said about playing wrong notes? He said if he ever played a wrong note, he always made sure he played it again because yeah. then no one would know if he'd actually <laughs> yeah. meant to do it or not. But that's that's the that is the rule. <laughs> no. There are no wrong notes. It's just a chromatic. This is true. Just ones that sound bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's this is awesome, quick man. whiz through of the tones that you can get from this. Um, I don't think I did it, did I? That's a, that's a big... Oh, that's come down. Anyway, so there we go. It's a lovely chord It's a nice chord progression, that one. Um, middle position. <laughs> We go way more twangy. Like. And Is then the bridge. I really like that, but of course, it's probably a wants a little bit of... What is that, that pedal? What is that pedal? Is I keep forgetting to tell people because it's I still have this prototype one that hasn't got a name on it yet, but it is Pogo Pedals Zen Ray. I don't even know if it's available yet. Zen Ray. <laughs> but I've had it for a few months. Um, it sounds great, man. Sounds and, good. And it just I kind of like the fact it's got a little bit of a fuzzy sound to yeah, it, yeah. Yep. which none of my other drive pedals do, but not so fuzzy that it's out of control. Like the bear. Waka, it's, not fuzzy bear. it's not fuzzy like the bear. Anyway, so we um, so we say goodbye. I think this video is long enough. Yes, currently. and we've jammed already on these guitars, so I don't think there's any need to jam Have we? again. Oh, yes, we did, we did yeah. the jam we did. intro we did jam. as opposed to the jam outro. Exactly. So there you go. Look, just to be clear, Fender Modern, uh, made in Japan, yeah. kind of guitars, H -H. really cool, and Fender Hybrids, although I'm not sure what's hybrid about them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of mixture mix and match in this. A lot of mix and anyway. match. Uh, but they are again, both of these were just. Um, uh, runs that came into the Europe as they're not part of the catalogue or anything no. anymore. I've just you twice keep... I've dropped my plectrum. Yeah, it's like, going uh... on. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And just as a final reminder, just to say these aren't part of the standard Fender catalogue. Uh, so you won't be seeing these again once uh, this current run has run out. Uh, but yeah, if you like them, grab them while they're hot. Do it, do it. Say. <laughs> grab them. <laughs> Okay, there you go then. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. See you later. Be safe out there. Careful. Yeah, bye guys. Bye. And guys.